Hey guys, so here we have the Sabre Wing experimental aircraft. I just went on a flight in this airplane and man, there's so much to say about it. But right now, I'm just going to take you through a walkthrough, uh, some of the stuff I've learned so far. As you can see, the design of this aircraft is sitting very low to the ground, which makes it really nice for a tailwheel. You know, most tailwheel dragger that you see uh, or that you've flown in, you know that the nose is much higher. And with this airplane, it sits very low to the ground, which makes getting in and getting out very, very easy. Okay? I'm just going to take you around here and show you the cockpit and share some details about the aircraft. So, to get in, it's a canopy. You just pull that up. Now, this airplane is built in wood and composite uh, material. All right, here you have the dash here. Uh, this is a GPS monitor. Uh, and speaking to Bill, who is the owner and builder of this aircraft, um, they're still testing a bunch of stuff in this plane right now. But you can see your standard gauge, you have your six pack, all the data you can get is in here trust me we just went on a flight it was it was smooth as butter um your switches are right there your master avionics fuel pump your lights uh, and your middle console very very simple you've got your headset inserts here those are your audio jacks i uh, even got a little cubby you know to put in stuff here and in the middle here this is your throttle this is your fuel, uh, I'm not even sure what this is. This is, I guess, your fuel pump. I gotta ask Bill, so I'm not talking gibberish here. But this is your mixture. Um, and then here is your switch for the fuel. Okay, so here you can switch um, your fuel from one tank to another. Now the interesting thing about this aircraft is that you can hold up to 40 gallons of fuel all right, some here, some there, and you've also got some here, about an hour reserve of fuel in the header. So you've got uh, some some really good thought going in, in into the design of the aircraft, so you never run out of fuel. All right, your rudder pedals are down there on both sides. This is a stick and rudder. And as you can see, the seats, you're sitting very low. Now, initially, when I got in here, or when I saw this airplane from the outside, I thought it was going to be tight, but it's the opposite. There's enough room here. The width of the cabin is 43 inches, okay? And you have more than enough legroom. As you guys may already know in some of my other review videos, I always talk about the legroom because... I have longer legs and so for me I have to adjust the pedals or the rudder pedals in some cases. Now with this particular aircraft you cannot adjust your rudder pedals in the cockpit but you have to uh, go through the cowling from what, I was, from what I was told but it is possible to adjust those rudder uh, pedals and I think your seats also you can always raise them up if you wish to uh, but sitting low is more than comfortable you can see uh, uh, your the outside view and you see the flight video which I'll be posting soon and the the visibility in this thing is incredible trust me and then back here you've got enough room for luggage and this will hold up to a hundred pounds that's more than enough for two people to go on a long cross-country flight now in terms of performance uh, it will depend on your engine choice, but right now this particular aircraft is fitted with a 120 horsepower turbocharged engine. Okay, and we just went on a flight and we were seeing between 150 to 160 and some change miles per hour. Okay, so uh, performance, you're not going to be disappointed, trust me. And it is a Corvette engine. Spider engines, it's an auto converted engine, but it runs smoothly. Uh, the aircraft climbed out very nicely in cruise, it was very smooth, so you won't have any troubles there. Again, it's a fixed pitch, you have a three bladed propeller here, but it is an experimental airplane, so 
you have your choices. Uh, very nice, very simple. Um, and it is a tailwheel, like I said. If you're going to buy and build one of these, you can get your tailwheel endorsement or you can also get it in your standard tricycle landing gear. Okay, guys, so this is my quick review of the Sabre Wing experimental aircraft. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions about this airplane, be sure to leave in the comments. I'll pass it along to Azalea uh, Aircraft here. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me if this is your first time. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you on the next video.